here's a shot from earlier on. As the Suns arrive at the arena, they're looking to leave town on a winning note tonight. Greetings, everyone. Welcome to 2K Sports and another exciting edition of NBA Basketball. Hi, everyone. This is Kevin Harlan. And joining us tonight, Greg Anthony and Hall of Famer Doris Burke. And reporting from the sidelines, our very own David Aldridge. D.A., take it away. Thank you, Kevin. We know Chris Paul is nicknamed the point god. Some say he's the best ever when it comes to running an offense while limiting turnovers. CP3 says, when I step on the court, I don't think that anyone should be able to take the ball from me. I pride myself on making the right decisions, passing, and ball handling. Kevin, he remains a wizard. He's unbelievable. Hall of Famer in every way. Thank you, David. This game will probably be something of a chess match, don't you think, Greg? Both these squads love to run intelligent half-court strategies. Yeah, you can expect to see some interesting playmaking as these squads try to open each other up and create opportunities to score. So the opening lineup for the Suns. Paul and Booker, the talented backcourt pair. Aiton is out there with Durant, and it's a Kogi in at the three slot. And for Dallas, Green is out there with Reggie Bullock. Then there's Dwight Powell. Then there's Irving. And it's Doncic in at the point guard. He kicks it to Irving. There's the triple. Phoenix grabs the miss. Here's a Kogi. The feed to Booker. Eight and a screen on Irving for three. Booker and the Suns get it back. And that's a foul uh, called on Josh Green. That's his first foul. Second chance shot. No good from Booker. And so Powell will bring it up for Dallas. And Doris, what you like about Dwight Powell is that he doesn't force anything on offense. Just takes what he has available to him. He is the perfect role player playing alongside his teammate Luka Doncic for this reason. Excellent screen setter. A real threat vertically at the cup. What a target for Luka. And the shot is long. Doncic feeling it out. Outside Irving, fires for three. The shot's good on the assist by Doncic. Kyrie Irving makes things look easy from range. This guy's so efficient beyond the arc. Durant with a screen on Doncic. Hall. Phoenix, no good that time either. Dallas has gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Now Doncic. Powell with a screen on Booker. Doncic finds Powell. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Now, Greg, a disappointing ending to the playoffs last season, certainly for the Phoenix Suns. Well, came in the top seed in their conference only to make a second round exit after a grueling game break, seven. So break. this season might be revenge time for this group. And that one misses. Boy, Dwight Powell is such a hard-playing, athletic big man. He could fit himself into any scheme right now. Watch up, watch up, watch up. He doesn't get the second one. Well, many thought the Suns would let Aiden walk as a restricted free agent. But they had no hesitation matching the offer to bring him back. It looks like he'll be a son for the foreseeable future. Here's Aiton. And that one is good with the extra effort on the glass. This guy a relentless force on the glass. DeAndre Aiton going to work and getting the putback. Down low. Here's Irving. Up and in on the layup. Irving's got five points so far. 
good way to start this game. You want to get him rolling as early as possible. He's a guy who, if he gets hot, he can carry your offense for long stretches. And it's Aiton missing. Boy, nine times out of ten, that's going in. I'm sure he surprised himself with the miss. Here's Irving. That is good off the back rim and in. He's got seven. Irving just so dynamic on offense, guys. A million ways he can hurt you. Eight and a screen on Irving. With three, Booker. It's rebounded by Doncic. Boy, he won't miss many from that spot. The defense gets lucky there. Has the power. Out to Doncic. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. Well, the hoop and the harm. Luka Doncic, the finish, and he'll get an opportunity to add to that. Well, technical fouls have been an issue for Luka Doncic since he entered the league. First of all, you love his passion. But I think we've seen real progress in this regard. And that's because you understand, if you're Luka Doncic, you need to play high minutes for your team. Looking at who's out there now for the Mavericks. JaVale McGee's checked in for Dwight Powell. Christian Wood comes in for Reggie Bullock. And Tim Hardaway Jr. subbed in for Irving. about Doncic, the consistency across the board. GA, for three straight years, he was selected to the first team All-NBA. And that's all before he turned 24 years of age. Do you have any idea how hard that is to do? What he has done is incredible. Hardaway, no good. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. Wood against KD. And again, it's the Suns missing. And the Mavericks with possession. They've got a 12-2 run in progress. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley-oop. Hardaway against Lee. Payne kicks to Craig. Eight in a screen on Green. Craig passes to Aiton. Phoenix no good that time either. Mavericks leading by 10. Doncic left side. Wood. That shot is off. Now the Suns take it the other way. Craig passes to Durant. And finished off by Katie. Oh, go ahead and get up, Kevin Durant. Former MVP punching at home. The pass to Wood. From deep. It's hauled in by the Suns. KD looking around. And he uses the glass on the layup. KD's got his second basket of the game. And the handles from Durant are downright filthy. Using them to cut up the defense there with ease. And that outstanding drive and finish brought to you by Mobile One. And a bucket like that one might be just what they need to cut into this lead. And Doncic, here we go. And credit the screen for giving him the space he needed to get to the rim. For sure, GA allows him to come in with a sledgehammer. Boy, that's a play you just practice time and time again, and that's the result of the work put in. Back to Payne. Pass to Craig. Durant at the elbow. Just five to shoot. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. That one goes on Wood. Boy, KD's so good with that up fake. He knows once he's got his man in the air, all he's got to do is jump into him and create the foul shots. The free throw drops for Durant. If you are a defender guarding Kevin Durant, you have got to have great stamina, both mentally and physically. He is as well-rounded an offensive player as the game has ever seen. 
and boy, good night when he starts to cook. And both free throws good for Durant. An efficient night from the line. This is a guy who puts in the work and it pays dividends. Here's Wood. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. They get it back. Cleveland. And denied. He sends it right off the glass. And indeed, they're going to look at it again. They need to be certain he beat the button. The previous play is under the caucus. is queuing it up. And, and even before we look at the replay, I, I'm pretty sure he got that off in time. After the review, the ruling on the floor is overturned. And the call is going to be overturned. The second look shows that he did, in fact, beat the clock. Yeah, they're glad they're going to get those points. It wasn't too long ago that they wouldn't even have looked at it on the monitor. But replays here, and it's here to stay for situations just like that. And so it's the Dallas Mavericks in the driver's seat, up eight points at the end of the quarter. They have made it very tough to get a shot off against them. Their defense has been stifling. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. And let's take a moment here to get your guys' take on scoring so far for Dallas. And guys, they've done a great job feeding their bigs inside. They are just punishing the opposition in the paint. And their assist total, also impressive early, creating with the pass and playing for teammates. And evaluating defenders goes well beyond blocks and steals. So, Doris, when you're doing a game, what are some of the things that you look for and that teams are looking for? Activity, attention to detail, deflections. Is the person switchable? Can they guard the elite wing scorers? In addition to size and length, do they have lateral quickness? So many things go into quality defense. On the court right now, second quarter starting for the Suns. Ball and Booker, the talent and backcourt pair. Tory Craig is out there with Bismack Biombo, and it's a Kogi in at the small forward. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. What's the latest, David? Thank you, Kevin. Well, Kevin Durant learned an important lesson at age 11. His dad cooked him one-on-one, -on -one, dunking on him and talking trash. Durant started crying, and he Shoot locked two. himself in his room, but he came to realize, what am I so mad at? It's good to be passionate, but channel it. Once you're off the court, leave it and go back to being you. Kevin? Great advice. David, thanks. Reggie Bullock, he's checked in for Maxi Kleba. All free throws good from Holiday. Suns trail by 10. Paul outside. Takes it out to Booker. Good, and Paul gets the assist. Night after night, game after game, Chris Paul understands where to put the ball and when. Nicely done. Moving against Paul. Irving misses. Phoenix has gone one or two on three-pointers here in the second quarter so far. It's stolen. To the inside. And it's Hardy with the jam. Kyrie Irving understands how to find an open teammate. Puts it exactly where it needs to be. Booker up top. He's covered by Irving. Akogi, the pass to Booker. Good work there as it goes. Booker's got five points so far. Uh, this guy reads situations so well, and he knows how to execute. Here's Irving. Goes to the reverse layup and claps it in. And the Mavericks lead by nine. Well, what a move from Kyrie to keep the defenders guessing as he moves in for the score. 
passes it to Craig. Lays it up and in on the nice reverse. And the combination of his quickness and soft touch around the rim really allows him to pull off shots like that. A lot of players don't have the reverse in their arsenal. Now here is Holiday. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. You know, we see this all the time. You're basically, as a defender, hoping the man misses rather than putting in the work to get over screens. Here's Craig. Here's Biombo. Don't you love the activity of Bismack Biombo? Stay alert, stay engaged, and draw the foul. This is his first free throw of the game. good on the free throw what you want from a guy who's going to be a defensive specialist is understand your role be ferocious and be aggressive and that's what you get with this Mac Biombo green he's checked in for Dallas Luka Doncic comes in for Hardy and a change for the Suns Aiton he's checked in for Torrey Craig no good at the stripe this time the second misses also bullet kicks to Doncic that three off the mark. And so Booker will bring it up for Phoenix. Nine-point game. Young big men, though, often struggle to find consistency. But you look at Aiden's first four seasons, the numbers are almost identical year to year. For Dallas, they've gone three of their first five shots to drop here in the second quarter. Irvin scored the bucket. He's made five so far, shooting a very clean five of seven. Well, this is one of the best in the league at converting off contact. What body control by Kyrie Irving. There's a good screen from 12 feet out. And Paul gets it to go in. And for Aiton, the numbers are impressive indeed, averaging a double-double every season. And he's got all the tools. Next steps, making more plays for others. And they've been working on his shooting range to open up the lane a bit more. Now here's Paul. Following the miss by Kyrie Irving. And Aiton throws it down. Elite athleticism from Mr. Aiton. No doubt on the dunk. And here's Irving. He's got 11. Outside green. And it's Biombo with the rebound. You will have to finish harder than that if you want to convert in traffic. Booker the pass to Aiton. Moving against Paul. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And we talk about the playmaking ability of CP3. Third all-time in career assists. Second all-time in career assist percentage. And he looks far from done. The first one falls. And Greg, what separates Paul from the other two guys that have more career assists is that Paul also averaged 18 points a game. And he scores with efficiency. Really a one-of-a-kind talent. When he finally does decide to hang him up, I think he'd make a great head coach as well. Catching up on the changes for Dallas. JaVale McGee's checked in for Dwight Powell. Maxi Kleba comes in for Reggie Bullock. Hardaway is subbed in for Irving. Now Chris Paul has been successful at the highest level in the NBA on and off the floor for such a long period of time. I love his intellect, his work habits, everything he represents. Payne, he's checked in for Phoenix. Suns trail by five. There's 117 left in the first half. Pass to Ross. Over to the left wing. With the fadeaway. That one wide left. I'm sure he's kicking himself. He hates to blow that kind of opportunity. There's the pass to Doncic. And they double up Doncic. Hardaway with it. 
Again, the miss by the Mavericks. 46 seconds left here in the second. Now here's Payne. Headed by Hardaway. Payne can't hit. Dallas leading by five. Donchich outside. McGee is screen on lead. Hardaway from outside. After two misses to start the game, he's on the board with that shot made. Well, in today's NBA, you've got to be able to play in pick and roll, and Hardaway doing work right there. Payne looking around. Lee is screen on Doncic. Payne dishes to Ross. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. And so it's Dallas in the driver's seat, up eight points at the end of the quarter. And it's been their rugged defense setting the tone. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, guys. With head coach Monty Williams. Coach, how do you get things going a little bit more offensively? Well, one, we got to set screens and we got to get stops. If we're getting stops, we can play in transition. That opens up a lot for us. Yeah, you guys are hard to beat when you're out and running. We'll see if that happens more. Thanks, Coach. Back to you. Thank you, David. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the second half momentarily. And happy you could join us. We've got two quarters left to go in regulation. Kyrie Irving really making a difference here. And how about the amount he's contributing in the scoring column through two quarters? He has been terrific. And one would expect that the defense made some adjustments at halftime, but he has the ability to answer right back. And if you're just joining us in this one, first half is in the books. One half to go. Reggie Bullock is out there with Dwight Powell. Then there's Irving. Then it's Green, and it's Doncic in at the point guard position. That's the five to begin the second half for Jason Kidd. You've got to be shot ready in this instance. On the catch, prepared to shoot Devin Booker. Yes, sir. Powell sends a screen for Irving. To the paint, Powell kicks to Doncic. Uses the glass to finish the layup. And it's seven points for Luka Doncic. What a finish by Luka Doncic. Don't underestimate his strength. The Don has got that in his game. That was a second look at our Mobile One Drive. Amazing control on display. And, and the awareness of his footwork and body on that drive. Wow. And it's Irving with the ball for the Dallas Mavericks. And about a minute of action so far in the third quarter. And it's sent back by KD. And it's Doncic missing. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. 
Booker, no good. Dallas leading by eight. Bullock passes to Doncic. Powell with a screen on Paul. And he's good on the three ball. Doncic has got ten. Well, Doncic is never shy from three-point opportunity. You give him a window, he will take it. Paul with the ball. He's picked up by Doncic. Paul against Doncic. Doncic with the block. It's going to be out of bounds. The Suns will retain possession. Here's Paul. Six on the shot clock. Count it from 12. Paul's got his second basket. Now this is a comfort zone for Chris Paul. That mid-range game, mm -mm, you better guard it. Outside Irving. The shot's good on the assist by Doncic. Irving's got the lead up to 11 now for the man. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. One thing we've learned in the NBA, the game is never over. So you've got to continue to score, continue to build your lead. Yes, that goes in. Irving's got four this quarter. Kyrie Irving is one of the most clever scorers in the game of basketball. When he starts to feel it, it's going to be a long night for the defense. And first time out of the game called for Phoenix. Mavericks making a switch here. Woods checked in. And a change for the Suns. Biombo's checked in. Here's Paul. Six points for him. Biombo up top. Outside, KD. They get it back, and there's the call on Kyrie Irving. That's foul number two for him. Hardy, he's checked in for the Mavericks. And the Suns also making a change. Torrey Craig, he's checked in for Josh Akogi. Well, we're into the third quarter. Just over two and a half minutes played. Paul kicks to Booker. Clock at four. From deep. With the clock winding down. And it's Biombo with the jam. We call that persistence, folks. Bismack Biombo is a force on the offensive glass. Here's Irving. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. It goes on Devin Booker. The Mavericks have made three of five free throw attempts.
free throw. Good Irving. This guy is an absolutely electric talent. Can completely take over a game. Kyrie Irving able to be a facilitator, a scorer, and we know he doesn't duck the big moments. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Suns trail by 13. Paul outside. Pass to Craig. Kicks to KD. Shoots from the high post. Another one falls for Phoenix. Well, there's an innate sense of how to play the game when we're talking Kevin Durant. The pick and roll has become second nature to him. And never say never, but we might never see another player who combines the length and guard skills of Kevin Durant. He's a player who completely breaks the mold. A nice shot by Irving. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. And that's typical of this guy. He's always reading the situation, reacting quickly and capitalizing. And that one drops for him. Paul's got eight points. And when you think about Durant's singularity as a player, Steve Kerr said he's more gifted than Michael Jordan. Great. what do you think of that? Well, Steve's had a first-hand view coaching KD and playing alongside Jordan. He didn't say greater, but more gifted. I think it's a conversation. Now let's take a moment to get your guys' take on the scoring so far for the Mavericks. They're still slashing and attacking the rim, and the defense yet to make the adjustment and keep the ball in front. I also like how they've played in the painted area. They've made an effort to work on the inside and convert those chances. Maxi Kleba, he's checked in for the Mavericks. Tim Hardaway Jr. comes in for Reggie Bullock. Terrence Ross is checked in for the Suns. Cameron Payne comes in for Paul. So he gets them both. Suns trail by 13. There's a minute 40 left in the third quarter. Here's Craig. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. The Suns shooting their seventh and eighth attempts at the foul line tonight. Good from Craig. Justin Holliday's checked in for Irving. Lee's checked in for Phoenix. All three throws good from Craig. 135 left to play in the third. Wood with the screen for Hardaway. Can't nail the jump. And he rushed that one, no doubt about it. The D out of position, you could see the frustration on his face. KD passes to Craig. Phoenix no good that time either. Mavericks leading by 11. Outside Hardaway. He gets that one. Hardaway has got the lead up to 13 now for the man. What a beautiful blend of size and athleticism. Boy, Tim Hardaway Jr. is doing work inside. Now here's Durant. He's got eight. That one doesn't go. 40 seconds left to play in the third. Pass to Kleba. Now here's Hardy. Payne covering. Lock at six. Holiday with the three and another basket for Dallas. There's 21 seconds left in the third quarter. Now here's Durant.
Craig with a screen on Wood. Durant, and it's good off the back of the rim and in. KD's got four points now in the quarter. What a performance for Kyrie Irving. He has been the story for the Mavericks. He got into double digits for the quarter with 10 points total. And we'll be right back after this. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. And it's Irving with the ball for Dallas. On the court for the Suns, Paul and Booker, the talented backcourt pair. Ayton is out there with Durant, and it's a Kogi in at the small forward position. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. We are talking about a clever scorer. Luka Doncic has developed such a knack for getting to the free throw line. That free throw good from Doncic. Ask any of the elite defenders in the NBA, and they'll tell you Doncic is one of the toughest to guard. He's got size. He's got skill. He can get downhill. He mixes his pace. So much to contend with when you're dealing with Luka Doncic. And so he makes both from the line. Suns trail by 15. Paul outside. Pass to Booker. And a great assist by Paul as that one goes in. Paul's got five assists in the game. Irving looking over the floor. Outside Hardaway. It's good from long range. And the Mavericks lead by 16. You can see the kind of confidence Hardaway has in his shot. This guy is so fluid in the catch-and-shoot situations. Ayton sets the pick for Durant. Ayton inside. Howe on him. And it's Ayton missing. Mavericks leading by 16 to the middle. And Irving gets it to go on the assist from Hardaway. And that's 23 points for Kyrie Irving. Well, you want some unselfishness from a guy who's capable of scoring. And Tim Hardaway says, you know what? My teammate's open. I'm going to get him the ball. Here's Ayton. A beautiful reverse layup. You have to appreciate the doggedness and intensity on the glass. Wow. Just about one and a half minutes gone by here in the fourth. The pass to Hardaway. On the wing, Irving. Six to shoot. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Now that's an example to me of Kyrie Irving's craftiness, right? Understanding how to draw the contact from defenders. First free throw is good. Dallas making a switch here. Green's checked in. And so Irving nails both of them. Second minute off the clock now in the fourth. Booker the pass to Okogi. Aiton a screen on Irving. Inside. The jump hook. And that one's good, Aiton. Well, just tremendous court recognition. DeAndre Aiton excelling in the pick and roll there. 
Doncic against Paul. Doncic outside. Basket counts. Doncic has got four points in the quarter. And, and ever since halftime, they play precision basketball offensively. I've got to believe that's something the coach talked to them about at the halftime. They have valued each possession. And the Suns call time here. And now let's take a look at the new balance player of the game, Kyrie Irving. And it's been a ridiculous performance in the best sense possible. I mean, everything about his game has been working. And no matter what they've thrown at him, he's had the answer. It's just too bad they're on the outside of the playoff picture looking in. It would have been nice for him to have a chance to perform like this in the postseason. And over two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth. Booker with no one around, and it's off from three-point range. Doncic against Paul. Now, here's Doncic. He's covered closely. Another three for Dallas. And they have been relentless from deep. And you see the defense trying to react, but to no avail. Well, that's the whole point, isn't it? If you space the floor well enough, it's almost impossible for the defense to account for everyone. Now, here's Green, following the miss by DeAndre Ayton. Green passes to Doncic. Shot clock at six, and it's Bullock in the corner. Good, and the assist goes to Doncic. Bullock's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. And again, it's the Suns missing. And it's Irving with the ball for the Mavericks. They lead by 24, their biggest margin. From 10 feet out. Here's Powell. Again, the Mavericks score. Well, this is a big part of what Dwight Powell needs to do. Battle hard on the offensive glass. Turn those second-chance opportunities into points. Now here's Durant. Back to Paul. The dish to Ayton. Pass to Paul. Here's a Kogi. Over Green. And no good. The dry spell continuing for him. Yes, and, and with this one winding down, it's obvious to everyone who watched it. Just a total mismatch and a true show of strength for Dallas. When you shoot this well from three-point range, you're really hard to stop. The defense didn't rotate out fast enough to stop the hot shooter. Yeah, exactly, Kevin. They were lethal from deep. And what a tremendous standout performance it was for Kyrie Irving. 
what a relentless scoring night for this guy. In attack mode all evening. Go, man, Paul outside. He dishes it to Aiton. You get a sense there of how challenging it is to guard DeAndre Aiton. Gets good position, makes the defense react. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he makes the first. I tell you, this guy already a double-double threat nightly. And DeAndre Ayton's ceiling is still high. Now he's got to go ahead and reach those expectations by putting in the work. Looking at who's out there now for the Mavericks. JaVale McGee's checked in for Powell. Maxi Kleba comes in for Reggie Bullock. And Justin Holliday subbed in for Josh Green. So he hits one of two from the strike. You know, he doesn't shrink the lead as much as he should have. That hurts a bit. Oh, and there's the alley-oop. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley-oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. Passes it to Payne. Back to Ross. Eight and a screen on Irving. Here's Ross. Goes back up. Here's Craig. But Suns keeping it alive. A new 14. Irving with it. So we see the Mavericks taking the win here. It was a tale of two teams tonight. One that was in total control, operating flawlessly, and the other just searching for answers that they could never find. I mean, the energy here is just so tremendous. Fans involved from the get-go, and once they started to really pour it on, it was fun to see that rhythm and flow from their perspective. And now we'll go to David Aldridge, who's standing by with our player of the game. Take it away, David. Thanks very much, Kyrie. It looked like you were in an extra crispy special kind of zone tonight. How did you do it? Ah, uh, man, well, the, the beauty is in the process. It's in the preparation. You know, I, before I get here, I'm trying to get locked in mentally. Um, just trying to come out here and put on a good performance, lead my team, do the best job I can. That's all I'm trying to do. It was all on display tonight, man. Congrats on the win. Back to you. All right, David, thank you. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for tuning in. So long.